with a yo ho ho it's tail of the toaster welcome to what may be our final challenge here at the grand celesta stadium it's face to face with phalamorbius we knew from the very beginning that this was the planet that was going to pose the biggest threat and now we just need to see if we can beat them in football this is their goalkeeper the only new uh, face that we're seeing everyone else has kind of guest starred on a team already as part of the Heavenly Kings, or as part of the Earth-11, Victor Blade, who's looking to defeat his best mates and destroy his own planet, if he, he is indeed an Earthling. Um, we just need to let him try and do it, unfortunately. He's picked his side. Uh, for story purposes, I'm going to be going with purely the 11 story required members. Um, most of them have totems at this point, Arian doesn't. We've still got a few uh, extra people for the bench like Quagmire, Kruger and Bylong. Uh, and I'll sub them in if one of our players runs out of stamina or TP or something. But for the most part, I'm going to be running with the default lineup. So Ricardo, you're not really that forced to have in defence anymore. You could move him further up with a different formation, but you only have two forwards on this team. And being honest, you only have two people that can score, because it's not like uh, your midfielders can do totem strikes and Arian's only got Zephyr shot and Ricardo's only got Fortissimo foot. I couldn't even give him my uh, Brimstone Rain manual that I've got hanging around because I'm not willing to part with Fortissimo foot or Hey Presto at the moment. I would, uh, I, I guess I could lose Fortissimo foot for higher shot power, but I like having shot chains, you know? So your defenders and your goalkeeper, they're really brilliant and the midfielders will, will midfield well but you need to basically make sure that Zach or Falco can score here because we need to score uh, at least twice to win this and you, could, you do that off your own back. There are no story required goals uh, given to your team here. Maybe that counts as a spoiler or something but it, it's just good to be prepared because we don't even have a coach nor can we apply one for strategic bonuses. Uh, we're both level 41, but I am entering at an inher inherent disadvantage. So here we go, get ready for a challenge. There's no impact of the gravity or anything like that. It's a fair fight just with Victor's Void type moves being powered up if he chooses to use them. They have Coach Black, we don't. I'm running with the default lineup, but this is what they've got to offer. This is Phalum Medius. So the planet's called Phalum Orbius, but Phalum Medius is actually kind of the name of the galaxy that all of the planets so far have been in. It's like if the Earth-11 was called Milky Way. Just apparently all of the planets that we face so far have been a part of this system. Uh, Victor Blade is level 46, and I believe he scales with your team. So if he reaches level 47, he would actually have Fire Tornado Double Drive at this point. He learns that at exactly 47. I don't know if I'm telling the truth on that with the uh, scaling with levels, but how much you level up your own moves is at least partly inspired by how much you've done that in your own time. I'm not sure I managed to get Supernatural Strike all the way to level 5, though. That seems a bit hard to believe. Um, but then behind him you've got all of the players that we saw on other teams. There's Bala, there's Ruger, there's Ganderez. So all good strikers, but they actually prove a bit of a weak point in the formation, funnily enough. Uh, because Rondula and all of these guys do not have any blocking moves. So the main thing to keep in mind when you're midfielding is any character that you recognise you can dribble past them for free with your cheapest special move. And anyone that you don't recognize, like these people, uh, may pose a risk. These guys in midfield don't have any blocking moves either, but obviously all of the defenders do. And I guess 
Uh, it's only the defenders who are going to have blocky moves, but some of them you won't see anywhere else. Stealth mode is extremely powerful and it never appears in the anime. Uh, same with the shot cyber attack. We came up with that one, I believe it's called injection in Japanese, a bit of a weird one. Uh, hollow grab is a dribbling move, whether you believe it or not. That one is an official dub name. It does, just doesn't really sound like a dribble, but obviously Whipper Slapper will be very good at it. Uh, yeah, these defenders are good, and they're going to be probably the second biggest worry. Just don't let the guys score, basically. But this guy is going to be your biggest threat. He's got Bounce Handler for saving. He reaches upwards of 400 power with that alone, and he's got a totem as well. And they even have an extra guy uh, on the bench, ju just in case it ever becomes necessary. They're not going to be using Virtuoso, though, I can tell you that much. At the Grand Celesta Stadium, the most scenic we've had so far. Alright! Long time no see, everybody! It's time for the finals to begin! This time, it's a big match with Queen Rolea and Princess Katara watching over us! Don't miss this epic clash! Let's give it all our let's give it our all from the start. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. This match is to protect Phalamorbius and take our revenge all at once. I'm gonna crush the other eleven this time! <laughs> Victor Arian, you're the captain of this team. You'll need to lead them, alright? That's right, Captain. We're going to do our best. Captain! Ricardo, everyone. Alright, I'm focused on the game now. Everyone, we're going to be more fired up than ever. Let's secure our future. Let us do that indeed. We will have the kickoff, but obviously it won't last very long. Let's pass to our teammate, Victor, right? Let's go. He's fast! Is he really trying to crush us? <laughs> That's interesting. Victor, don't you care about what's going to happen to Earth? Or the galaxy? Shut up, Arian. We, Phalamorbius, are the ones who are going to survive. Victor? And he is in full power mode. He's not using a spirit, like uh, the animation suggests, but... Like, we're short. Get out of his way. Just let him score as soon as possible, because we need every minute that this match allows. Don't even use a special move on Terry or anything like that. I mean, it wouldn't cost you any TP to do it, but... Supernatural Strike level 5 with a void boost as well. We get to at least know that 486 is the amount of power that outputs, so Terry would need his totem to stop that, I'm pretty sure. But you can't afford to have a totem on Terry. You need it on everyone else, so just don't let them score. That's Let's Player Advice mode coming in here. Go! Phalamedius' Captain Blade scores it! With overwhelming force, he takes it! Victor, why? I guess it was Coach Black's order to let Victor score first. What do you mean? He's trying to shake our hearts by letting Victor, who was on our side, score points. The captain must have felt really bad from that one point. Oh, that's not fair! <laughs> it's only natural to play on the opponent's weak points. Yes, that's who Coach Black is. For someone who hates him, you really understand him. Everyone, it's only one point. We'll get it back. Yeah, the, obviously Ricardo is our modern day Jude Sharp, so his kind of uh, understanding has to move forward somewhat. You know what? It's totem time. I'm not taking any chances because it's time to fill the advance gauge, but this is a nice long one. They give you uh, plenty of time to make something happen, and you need to make something happen because... Uh, the goalkeeper hasn't got his totem out yet, but now he does. He will automatically bring it up as soon as you get within his vicinity. It's just an unfortunate reality. Uh, I could have tried to take a slight risk, maybe, and see if I could get near to him first and take a shot before he brings it out, but every time I've played this match, he just automatically brings it out. Um, 
as soon as you're anywhere near him. So you are better off just ripping off the band-aid and trying to get get his totem to wear out, basically. Just keep taking shots on him until he doesn't have it anymore. You will be very unlikely to get a shot past his totem, but just dribble past the defenders who don't have any blocking moves. Like, for example, Bala. Um, you can use Ribbon Shower on Charisse or Hey Presto on Ricardo. Anything on Arian. Um, obviously, Arian doesn't have a totem. You can use his Fighting Spirit if you want, but just use low-cost stuff to get within the vicinity, and then... I've kind of messed up here. I need to bring out Zack's fighting... Well, Zack's totem. Is Eye of the Storm enough? It is not. So my plan has failed. I was going to use a fresh totem strike with Zack and get one in the back of the net. We don't have to worry about um, the goalkeeper bringing out his spirit anymore because he's already done it. Fine, Grizzly Bear. I, I, can you win this interaction by default? Um, I really need to have both Falco and Zack's totems out just so we have any hope of scoring a goal on my knee. I knew it was going to be an auto loss. And this time they're using special tactics as well. We don't often see that. And they're even going to win. Like, we can't deal with that. This is, <laughs> this is actually going really, really poorly. And there's an advance gauge on the line as well. We're not even uh, succeeding in doing that right now. So... Right, I have definitely made a mistake with Buddy. He basically needs to go, because he... <laughs> Either Charisse or, or Buddy, one of them, we can't afford to have a spirit on the pair of them. Uh, for now, hey, you'll fall for this, right, Victor? Uh, look, a UFO! It's up there, you see? Ah, you fell for it, loser! <laughs> uh, Keenan can still pull weight from, from the back up. Okay, well, let's... No, buddy! Come on! You've already been the worst player on the team the whole way through this. Oh, this is startlingly bad. I, I'm gonna have to bench him, aren't I? He's, <laughs> I'm trying to use all my story required players here, but every time I try to use Buddy in a match, he always just contributes. Why am I losing all this by default? This is going as badly as possible. I've not even taken one shot yet. Arian can't take it from Rondula. This is, yeah, wow. Couldn't be going any worse. Good grief. Just <laughs> forget about the advance gauge. Just it will fill up at some point in this first half, I presume. Don't lose it by default again. This is awful, but it's worked out. Come on, Zach Avalon. I don't think you can score, but let's at least try and get a good lottery thing. There's so many misses on this wheel, and of course I've managed to land on one. T T and he gets a good one as well. <laughs> Even the first shot has gone as poorly as possible. Zach can't afford another shot as well, unless he levels up his totem. 557, he's using the totem strike, so that is an L, unless... Let's go, Zack! <laughs> we get a new animation from him as well. Woo! And the advance gauge is done. What am I gonna do here? Um, we need to get Falcos out at some point. The advance gauge is one to deal with right now anyway. Am I gonna remove Buddy or Charisse or am I just gonna let it rock for now? I, I think we'll wait a little bit longer because I can't decide who I would wanna remove. I can't lose this match. I've got to do something about it. Victor is the enemy. The enemy! Yuck! That was a rough play! Felomedius made a foul! The captain's play is different from usual. Is he still worrying about Victor? Ah. Pimp.前の力はどんなものか。俺は親友だとでも思っていたのか。親友に裏切られただけでサッカーに対する思いは消えてなくなるのか。俺はサッカー好きだ。サッカーをやっている時が一番自分らしくいられる。
そうか剣は何も変わってはいない剣にはこの戦いに全力で挑まなければならない理由があるんだどうした天馬神道さん俺どういうことかわからなくなってきましたそもそもこの旅自体わからないことだらけでしたそうだな確かに未だにわからないことだらけだ進藤さん楽しみませんかサッカーをえ敵は鶴子俺たちにとっては最強の相手です面白いじゃないですか銀河にいや宇宙の未来だこの戦いにかかっているんだぞ正直この戦いにどれだけ大きなことがかかっているか自分自身理解できているか分かりませんでも俺鶴木の言葉を聞いて大切なことを思い出したんですこんなにすごい試合もうないと思うんですこの戦いはこの出会いをこの瞬間だけなんですだからこそ思いと思いをぶつけ合って最高の試合をするんですよだってそれが俺たちの大好きなサッカーですよねでもソウルそのとおりだよキャプテンええとことん突き進みましょうみんなこれが最後の戦いだ最高に楽しいパラグオービアスの名にかけて I don't know how important this match is in the grand scheme of things, is what、uh, Arian tells us. And I think that's a great line, to be honest, because it sums up somewhat how I was feeling with it as well. This, by the way,、uh, as a free kick, is extremely important. Who is that player? It,、uh, the, yeah, Zach again.、Um, no need to use a totem strike on g o n d o l a a menacing glare will do. But if you haven't gotten a goal by this point, you basically need to use this free kick. To get one, you can set up your players, you can move them wherever you need. They won't、um, shift places depending on、uh, where you move yours. That's a problem with the AI in general. You can put your players wherever you want in a free kick, and they will not update、uh, their positions to accommodate for that. So, do make the most of this free kick. Let's pass to Zach. I don't think he can afford another totem strike, but let's at least take a shot with Kabuki. Oh, he can. All right, well, it's a miss, so I, I, this time, yeah, now it's not going in. The roulette has worked in、uh, the other guy's favour, which is especially bad because I at least wanted to cause some stun damage, even if we didn't get past him, or just cause his totem to wear out soon. But no, 528 is not going to threaten it, so that's a bit of bad luck. I did make the most of the free kick scenario, but he made even better use of it. I think that actually would have gone in if not for the 100 bonus, which is. Massive, but、uh, Ricardo, let's. I don't have a third slot. Or do I? Okay, I'm mashing buttons right now. Take a shot, Falco. Wow, this has gone way better than I imagined. He's got 60 TP. That is presumably still enough to do his totem strike. Stun plus helps. If I can get in the lead in the first half, that would be huge. I'm trying my best. 471 is not nearly enough. Damn, but Zach is just kind of straight up better than Falco, huh? Why was that so low? I'll, I'll never pretend to understand Totem Strikes. I don't think Zach's kick is that much higher than Falco's, but fine, we're in this situation again. Let's just、um, 
make the most of the first half. I did give Charisse a blocking move in the form of Sleeping Dust. So that will always help, at least. Can I pass to Falco? He is offside, so no, I cannot. Totem Strike to get past a defender that you don't recognize. Again, that's the key. If they're a defender and you haven't seen them before, then that means you need to use a dribbling move, or well, probably a Totem Strike to beat out something of self modes. Power. It would be nice to show self mode and the, maybe their shot. Pass back to Falco. Let's try this again. But yeah, unfortunately, I just can't take any risks at all. I, I'm so bad at the roulette, and he's so good. I, I'm, t I'm affording myself so many opportunities here, and none of them are working. Falco's totem is actually gone now. I have run it out, and he's going to stop me again. Wow, this is poor, so... This second half, I need to do everything in my power to get a goal, and even when he's not got a totem, uh, rebound layer, whatever they called it in this one, bounce th thing, is still so hard to get past. But um, in the second half, when I get a chance, I do want to talk about Arian's whole line of, I don't know how important this match really is, because I've got some thoughts on it as well. I was hoping I was going to buy myself an opportunity to talk about it, but let's just see if we can get a lead for now. <laughs> Good. The life energy is building up steadily. More. Give me more. <laughs> Victor arcs, re arcs relentlessly against his old friends. That's the best hospitality he can offer us. This is it. The final battle. Yeah, there's a lot more to come. Let's give it our all in the second half. Yay! The second half is about to begin! Earth-11 and Felon Medius will return to a super tense match! Attacking fiercely or defending hard! Which of these game breakthroughs comes first? Now this is something no one ever could have expected. Astro Black will be playing on the pitch as a forward. What the heck? The, <laughs> the most unprecedented idea possible. Um, I need to make some changes here. Falco, uh, you have at this point lost your totem. Uh, so has Zack as well. They can't use them twice. We need second goals. Um, and neither of these guys are really equipped to do it, but we don't have much in the way of firepower other than them. Falco, I might need to keep on just because his movement speed is so critical. Um, Zach, I believe you're going to have to sub out for Bylong. I'm trying to avoid using Fighting Spirits, especially in a match like this where totems are so important. Um, but also, someone out of Charisse and Buddy has probably played their part. This seems like a wild card play, but I'm going to sub in Dave Quagmire. He's at least got Gung Nia to take some shots with, a long shot, but also, uh, Charisse, you can keep yours out for now, I think. Ricardo, you might be the next one to bring into play, but I need a second goal, and right now I don't really have the means to do that. Um, but we'll just keep thinking about it as it goes along. I, I could move Arian back. No, let's let's not do that. Um, for now, 
uh, focus on winning aside, what is Ray Dark doing as a player on the pitch? <laughs> Alongside Victor Blade, by the way. <laughs> it immediately gives us an advance gauge, and he is not in full power or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to waste Bylong's TP on a blocking move. Oh, he's not going to need to! Critical! <laughs> well, shouldn't be putting an old fogey on the pitch then, should you? Get messed up! <laughs> As soon as we put a non-story required member of the Earth-11 on the pitch, we just uh, do them in, basically. I right, let's get Charisse running up because I'm having to sacrifice uh, Falco's TP purely on dribbling moves to keep him alive here. This is one of the last few guys capable of scoring, and he's blown it now. Charisse is going to have to run it up. Um, okay, foul. I mean... In the interest of story, that's probably fine, because um, we, we do kind of need to see Ray Dark participating a little bit. In fact, Falco, you need to go. Um, you're now going to be Alpha? I, I guess? Uh, <laughs> this is a bit, of, a bit of a disaster. We've only got one on Charisse right now, so we need to summon another, but for the time being... Um, See how involved they can get um, someone like Mr. Black. Let's, let's just see it. Right, I'm thinking too hard about this. We'll, we'll concentrate on scoring afterwards. Like, we, we've already half-filled the advance gauge, so um, that's not going to quite cut it. And we do want... <laughs> they, they just beat out my planned format so bad, but... Yeah. Ah! Oh! Okay! Um... Massive moment of danger, Victor's taking a bicycle blade with the void boost, 390, okay, we might have just blown the match there and then, I thought so hard about my formation, and in Astro Black's advance gauge, that's the moment where we've clutched it, ah, <laughs> sorry, I would love to uh, let you get away with this one, Coach Black, but we can't afford it, basically his gimmick is that he's filled with Royal Academy moves, he's got uh, stuff like Emperor Penguin number two and Killer Slide and even um, in the anime we get to see him use Fire Tornado as well <laughs> looking out of place as ever something's quite something's wrong with this natural love I don't think that's quite the partnership they had in mind here's Killer Slide at least shame we didn't get to see him use his other moves he's got Illusion Ball on dribbling as well that was close to hurting someone it doesn't matter. Coach Black, what in the world do you want? You have to find the answer yourself. He plows through all of our players. You think this is the best in the galaxy? This match is too soft. Harder! Fight harder! What's happening? Black is running to his own goal! Crazy! You have to go the other way! No, oh, he's not bothered about his own teammates as well. He's just causing chaos. What? What are you doing? Sets up one dangerous play after another, regardless of friends or foes involved. This is a runaway situation. Dangerous. Try to stop me. Detected it as cheating and destroyed him! 
android? Then where is the real Coach Black? ゆうお前たちは肉体で戦うべきではない。魂で戦うべきなのだ。勝ちたければ肉体のスペックを超え魂で戦うのだ。Fight with your soul? What is he talking about? Well, I'll get it. Earthlings. Hmm. I see. So there you have it. Brother Ruger, you figured it out. Awesome. Uh, that's right. You don't have to listen, Ganderus. Don't ask me more questions. Felimedius is about to switch player black out. A lot has happened, but the match is back on. Fight with our soul. Maybe Coach Black wanted us to use our full potential. Fight beyond your physical and mental limits. I see. So was anyone else hoping in that uh, situation that Inazuma didn't retroactively bring Radark back from the dead after all and that he was an android the whole time? Unfortunately, it is just for this match. Um, but yeah, so there is a genuine real Radark still out there. But they, they very much could have just said... Uh, oh yeah, he was an android the whole time, but he just basically disturbed the peace because to say that the galaxy is on the line with this match, we have just been playing football and getting along with each other and it's all a bit tame in that sense. You must use that free kick to try and set up another shot, otherwise the second goal simply isn't going to come. This match gives you no goals from your own story plays for free, but it will give you two free kicks, and it's on you to use that to score, and we have done it. Whew, which means I can hopefully relax and talk about the match, just as long as they don't score on us. But they could, they've got plenty of firepower, and there's still an advance gauge left to go. This one has been a barnstormer. We're in, uh, carrying on with the free time for now, but I think finally I'll talk about this whole we don't understand the importance of this match, because it's the only uh, real complaint I have about why it's otherwise a really enjoyable match, where we see all the friendship dynamics and just storytelling of the team come out into one, and uh, everyone's fighting equally, like both the Heavenly Kings and the Earth-11 members all have their own, own moments to shine in the anime. It's just very equally matched to say that Phalamorbius is the big bad of the story, but the main thing is, what's holding Phalamorbius to play like this? Uh, I'll finish that after. まさに魂と魂のぶつかり合いだ。てめえ。お前とこんなにすごいサッカーを戦えて俺は嬉しい。俺もだ。こんなに若くすることはない。お前に出会ったからこそ、ここまで来られた。だからこそ俺は
the laser didn't hit them. Hmm. The power's risen this high. Interesting. Amazing! Arian and Victor's totems have both awakened! A totem of a horse and a totem of a wolf! Brilliant! Marvelous! And a horse is the one that we can use on Arian for dribbling. Victor's, uh, not so much. He's still the opponent. Which sets us up into an automatic interaction, but Victor's totem is for shooting, ours is for dribbling, so there's no doubt in how this one is gonna go. Super dash, super dash, go for start! Uh, uh, by long, uh, by long, it's gonna be the one riding on Harrion's horse back here. It's supposed to be Falco, canonically, but I mean, it might as well be anyone. Come on, everyone, let's keep this up. By long, getting the hero moment. That's Arian's totem. What a brave person. Hey, somebody at least stop him, Victor says with a smile on his face. Yeah, he's definitely trying to win this match. There's no doubt about that. Um, but also, there's not too much uh, stake in it. At the end of the day, Victor's goal here clearly is to raise the life energy, uh, which is done through totems, not through fighting spirits, specifically through totems. So that's why we've been trying so hard uh, to use them. Here's the totem strike again. Come on, Bylong, don't miss. Um, did we, have we seen stealth mode yet? I'm not sure on that one, but come on, Bylong, ride that horse and onwards to the goal, Arian goes. It is great seeing Victor as a rival. I'm much prefer just on appearance alone, really. I think he works so much better as a bad guy than uh, as a force for good. Clearly here he is still trying to be a hero, raise the life energy, and he's having a good time smiling as he takes on Arian. But he's still trying to win at least, and it's great seeing him on a villainous force once again. We are not able to score, even with a totem Zephyr strike. Don't sleep on uh, that goalkeeper, even when he's out of stamina, he can still be really good. Can he stop a buy along one? He's not going to get the chance. Ogre is not using Brock Hammer, okay. Well, um, yeah, so I really like this match for a whole number of different uh, reasons. As we go for a Kong near with Quagmire, the only problem I think is the order of storytelling. Like, um, Osrock has taken over the planet of Falum, and now it, th these uh, Falum guys are fighting uh, for their lives here. Um, but we only realized when we first got to the planet that they were immune to the whole situation of fighting for their lives in the first place. It's within the same chapter that we found out they were in no danger. I assumed that they were also fighting to protect their planet just like everyone else, but they're not. They've only just had to start fighting for their lives when um, Osrock has announced this whole Ixar fleet thing, but that, that just... What, why does the Earth then need to beat Phalum Medius if they're no longer, like, the guys in control? Like, um, clearly there is a higher force at play than Phalum Medius themselves. And also, why does Phalum Medius... Well, they need to win this match so that they can get their emergency equipment back. But it's like, there's nothing for Earth to say that they need to win this match. Um, they, they'll just... Obviously, it's Arian's team. They'll play against whoever, but... Wouldn't it just be better if Ixal Fleet was revealed as a story concept during this match? Like, let the cocky Phalamadius play uh, with no weight on their back while also, uh, you know, Victor is maybe allowed to know that he's fighting for the life energy and such, but the rest of these guys, I don't feel like they needed to be put in this situation of danger. They would have tried to win anyway. I just don't get why they revealed the other big bad guys first because it just adds stakes only onto the opponent that didn't need extra stakes, and it just makes uh, the Earth Eleven's motives in winning this match all the more confusing. They're now playing against a newly victimized uh, Phalum Medius that has Victor on it. It's 
Yeah, I don't get why they didn't just reveal Ozrock there and then when he fired the massive laser that just tried to kill us all and failed. That could have been the moment where we found everything out, but I mean, I don't know. We, we clearly know that there's a greater force at play and we still just had an all-out match where the overall goal was to win and have a good time and try to win regardless. And it's a great match. I think a, a, a change in the order of the storytelling would have helped, but I still really, really enjoy this one for what it's worth. And, uh, you know, but maybe you can do Kazan right now, Bala. We know that you could have... Actually, we were still on 2-1 because we didn't score with that gong near or, or by long or Aaron's shot. That was hard. It was a 2-1, and I was very fortunate that I was able to get the goals when I were. But just use your free kicks, use your totems on Zach and... Uh, uh, where where you can, Falco, and obviously, if you don't care for the story narrative, just bring on any fighting spirit like Bylongs or Wolframs or whoever's and just abuse them. Make the match easier, but I'm glad I was able to win entirely within context, with the exception of we didn't get to do much with Ray Dark, but that's important. We have a new goalkeeping move on Terry as well. I was scared for my life when I had to do that Claude Force, and if it didn't succeed... We would have lost. A draw is not good enough here. Yay! The greatest match in the galaxy is over! The winner is Earth! Congratulations! We won! Arian. I can't believe it. We just... That's good. A very good ending. It looks like it's finally fulfilled. Master Osrock, the surveillance equipment has been destroyed by Phalomorbius' forces. It appears that Phalomorbius has regained their power. Well, that's... expected. Well, let's move on to the final mission. Gather everyone at the stadium. The Cosmic Plasma Photon Cannon will be ready to fire soon. Thank you for doing this. Let's tell everyone everything that has happened so far. Yeah. パラムオービアス、そして超高速通信でこの戦いを見ていた全銀河の皆さん、よく聞いてください。この戦いには軍団のセレスタギャラクシーの優勝を決めるという目的の他にもう一つの重要な役割がありました。それは銀河の危機を
power of human life. Yes, in other words, life energy. Life energy. I see. The only way to collect life energy was for us to clash with each other head on in full seriousness. So that's why you pretended to be the enemy and fought with us. Yes, I'm sorry for not telling you. Are you sure I'm the one you should be apologizing to? Tenma. <laughs> せっかく重点伝説とされてきた
システムからの死の制裁が加えられるそは知っているはずだ<笑>そんなことは分かっていないサッカーが宇宙の運命をかけたファイナルステージだ XR Fleet will play against the Earth 11 winners of the Grand Celeste Galaxy Tournament! Victor? I want you back on the team. Arian. Sure. That's what I wanted from the start. Welcome back, Victor. And we do get him back, but I, I feel like that's a, a lower priority compared to everything else that's going on right now. Victor! Save us all! Leave it to me. Keep up the good work. The fate of the galaxy is at stake in this battle. Katara, we're going to win. I'm going to save everyone! Yes, Arian. Let's go. This is the real final battle! And that it is. We kind of knew from the start that Phalomadius weren't going to be the real thing. That was just for the sake of building up your life energy because this guy blew his lid with the whole plot reveal like way too early. What I was saying in the match about why did they reveal Ixar Fleet at the start and make Phalomadius play with state, that whole reveal that we just saw right there was perfect. He'd been planning in the background, Arian had no idea. Why didn't they just drop them there and then? They didn't need an introductory cutscene at the start where he said who XR Fleet was, say I've taken control of this planet, reveal that he was a bad guy, and then make you play the match against Phalomadius anyway. Why didn't it just start there? I really don't understand the pacing and the storytelling of making him uh, reveal all this stuff now. It's also in the background, Meteo, our travel guide from uh, the... All of the chapters passed. Yes, he will be playing as a player in this XR Fleet guy uh, team as well. This is their goalkeeper, Phobos. We will be taking them on in the finale of the Let's Play. Not right now. I just don't understand why they blew their lead just half, like, half an hour to an hour too early. They could have just revealed it then. But nevertheless, the match against Phalomadius is fantastic. You know, the fact that uh, XR Fleet is revealed beforehand is not even, like... A fault of that match anyway because it happens before it the only thing it affects is the stakes of that match so here we are in a do or die situation these guys are even higher leveled than uh, Phalomadius which means you can leave and go and level up your team even more against uh, various competition route matches and that is indeed what I will be doing all of the dialogue of the surrounding area has changed as well you can go into various rooms and talk to people about the whole... Uh, Phalomadius got, like, uh, taken over by some bad guy, but then they broke free, and now Phalomadius is not under control of Osrock anymore. Except now it also is under control of Osrock again, and we need to beat him in a football match because the security thing will destroy him if it's anything other than football, even though he clearly already had control of that massive laser beam thing that just uh, <laughs> attempted to destroy us and failed but did succeed in uh, erasing the android coach black which is one of those things that you just forget in Azuma 11 ever did but you look back on Galaxy on a second visit and it's like man they really did have a robot radar come in and use Royal Academy moves and fire tornado against us to try and take us down but yes that's it for this one, I'm going to go and play some matches off screen to try and raise my team's level a bit. I'll of course be using the story required Earth 11 again, but with Victor back on it this time. And we need to take down Ixar Fleet in English, Ixal Fleet in Japanese, and then all kinds of other things in Spanish like Armada de Ixar. But anyway, next time, Earth 11 takes on Ixar Fleet. 
the fate of the galaxy. See you then.